Hello everyone. As uh, we have discussed that Nernst equation for single electrode potential in the last class. <coughs> Today we will see the Nernst equation for uh, galvanic cell. As uh, we have discussed the construction and working of the galvanic cell. So, what is a galvanic cell? So, galvanic cell is a device which convert chemical energy into electrical energy. That means by means of redox reactions, by means of redox reactions, which converts the uh, chemical energy into electrical energy. By means uh, that means the production of electricity. So, how it is constructed? The galvanic cell is constructed by coupling of zinc and copper electrode and both the, uh, the two different electrodes that is zinc and copper electrodes are dipped in a different electrolyte or electrolytic solution that is zinc is dipped in a Zn2 plus ion solution and uh, copper is dipped in a copper 2 plus ion solution. And uh, these two electrodes are connected uh, externally uh, by means of wire into a voltmeter and check the voltage. And uh, these two compartment is uh, connected uh, internally by a salt bridge. Okay, that is the construction. And uh, after completion of the circuit, the potential difference arises. So that potential we are going to calculate now. That is, by the use of Nernst equation, how can we determine or uh, uh, find out the cell potential or EMF of the cell? Okay, by using Nernst equation. That is, Nernst equation. Nernst equation for galvanic cell for galvanic cell or EMF of the cell or EMF of the cell right In that previous class, we have discussed the derivation of Nernst equation. So finally, we find out the uh, equation. So what is the Nernst equation? That gives the relationship between electrode potential and standard electrode potential through a concentration of metal ions at a particular temperature. So as we know that E cell that is Nernst equation uh, you can find out the electrode potential E value so before that so I will just uh, recall the definition of EMF of this cell or cell potential what is cell potential that is the potential difference between the two electrodes in a galvanic cell here we can write E cell is equals to E cell is equals to E cathode E cathode minus E anode right so <coughs> the potential difference developed between two electrodes that is nothing but a EMF of the cell or cell potential. So <coughs> we can write uh, individually for uh, single electrode potential, Nernst equation for single electrode potential. We can write for cathode and uh, anode and then substitute into this equation, we will get a E cell value. So first uh, I will write the E cathode value by so E cathode. That means the electrode potential of 
cathode. So by Nernst equation, by Nernst equation, Nernst equation, by the use of Nernst equation or uh, Nernst equation for single electrode potential, we can write E cathode is equals to E anode. Sorry, E naught cathode. Plus two point three naught three into R T by N F into log of M N plus at cathode or metal ions or species at cathode. That is for the single electrode potential. So that is we can write molar concentration of M N plus. Yam and plus at cathode. Yam and plus at cathode are species ionic species at cathode, right? This is for the electrode potential at cathode. For anode, we can write E anode is equal to same as uh, similar to this. E naught anode plus two point three naught three into R T by N F into log of M N plus H anode. So here we have to be careful here while substituting this value. If They ask at 25 degree Celsius or 298 Kelvin temperature. You can make it as by substituting the gas constant and Faraday's constant value. You will get 0.0591, right? But at a particular temperature, we should mention 2.3 into R T by N F. Okay. So by <coughs> calculating this E cathode and E anode values, so substitute this into the first equation. This is to uh, let us call it as equation one, and uh, this is two, and uh, this is three. So on substituting two and three, or substitute the value of E cathode and E anode to the equation one. That is substitute substitute equation two and three in equation one. We get we get. See these two e uh, cathode and e anode that is written by using the Nernst equation for single electrode potential. So here we can write for E cell that is E cell is equal to E cathode. See E cathode value is E naught cathode plus these terms minus E naught anode plus these terms. Right, so substitute the value here. E naught cathode, just C A T H M right for our convenience. So plus two point three naught three into R T by N F into log M N plus R cathode, or we can say just cathode minus. And subtracting of E anodic value, so that is minus minus E naught anode minus E naught anode E naught anode minus into plus minus two point E naught B into R T by E N F. Into log m n plus r. Simply we can write it as anode m n plus 
at anode and at R minus at cathode. <coughs> so see here, this term is common. 2.303 RT by NF is common here. So only the side is different. So here you can write on rearranging this equation we will get E cell is equals to E naught cathode E naught cathode minus minus E naught anode minus E naught anode this two terms so now so this term is common plus 2.303 RT by NF into log cathode minus log of MN plus at anode. So here we can write we can write this log MN plus cathode minus minus log mn plus anode understanding here yes and then same e naught cathode minus e naught anode so this term we can Directly, we can write down the E naught cell. So, by using this, E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode. So, if you take E, e naught cathode minus E naught anode, that is equal to E naught cell. That is, E cell is equal to E naught cell plus this value 2.303 into RT by NF into next log of here you see log M minus log N formula so log M minus log N is equal to log M by N so we can write it directly MN plus at cathode MN plus at cathode divided by molar concentration of Mn plus at anode. Understanding here? Yes. So this is the nasty equation for a galvanic cell or EMF of the cell. We are calculating the cell potential by using this equation. So if they give the value of metal ion concentration of both two electrolytic solution so we can easily identify the E cell value and here E naught cell so we need to calculate so we know we have to know uh, some of the values or standard electro potential values of different metals so commonly using metals so like uh, zinc uh, copper so zinc uh, standard electro potential of uh, Zn2 plus power Zn or uh, zinc electrode is minus 0 0.76 volt and uh, uh, what is the uh, copper it is a 0 0.34 volt like that we should uh, remember and we can calculate the inert cell value and uh, here we know the gas constant value it is 8.314 joules per kelvin per mole and T temperature so given temperature and N is the valence or uh, number of electrons involved in a reaction and F is the Faraday's constant that is 96,500 coulombs per mole and uh, so if they give the concentration of uh, different electrolytic solution you can identify the cell E cell or cell potential or EMF of this cell understanding so <coughs> when you write, the, write this equation at 25 degrees Celsius we will get E cell is equal to E naught cell 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन डिवाइडेड बाई एन इंटो ब्लॉग स्पीसीज आर क्या तो बाय स्पीसीज आर प्लस दिस इज एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस टू नाइंटी एट के लिए टेम्परेचर सो यू शुड रिमेम्बर दिस इक्वेशन फॉर फाइंडिंग द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल वैल्यू बायोसिक नेक्स्ट इक्वेशन अंडरस्टूड या यस next we will move on to the numericals numerical problems based on this nernst equation for finding electrode potential value standard electrode potential value and e cell value as of now we find out the e cell value so e cell is equal to e not cell plus 0.0591 divided by n into log species at cathode by species at anode at 298 kelvin temperature okay so we can easily find out the uh, electrode potential value and uh, cell potential value basically okay so now we will move on to the numericals based on the nernst equation Before going to solve the numericals, we just recall the formulas as we have discussed in the last two classes. So here, <coughs> numericals, numerical problems, problems based on E. Nissel, sorry, not and Nissel. Based on Nernst equation, okay. So we just recall the formulas. So here, <coughs> what are the formulas uh, is applied? So <coughs> yes, this one here. First one is uh, when you find in the E cell value, E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode, right? And also E not cell also we can identify. Same formula by using same formula. Okay. The second one is electrode potential for single electrode. So for finding the single electrode potential value, that is E is equal to E naught plus two point three naught three into R T by N F into log of M N plus log of M N plus. We can easily identify by using this. Electro potential value. Okay, R we can take R. I'm rearranging. Sorry, I'm substituting the values. So E is equal to E naught plus zero point zero five nine one divided by N into log of M N plus metal ion ionic concentration. This is at 298 Kelvin temperature. At 298 Kelvin temperature, right? And the third one formula is by finding the E cell value. As of now, we discussed that Nernst equation for a galvanic cell. E cell is equal to E naught cell <coughs> plus 
into R D by N F into log M N plus at cathode divided by M N plus at cathode, right? R at 298 Kelvin temperature, so we can uh, substitute the value of R and T and uh, M. Okay, so these are the basic formulas. It is required to solve the numericals based on the E, E cell, and E naught value. Right, so coming to the first numerical. I mean to the first numerical here. The standard electrode potential of so standard electrode potential so it is uh, represented by E naught, right? So the standard the standard electrode electrode potential the standard electrode potential of Zinc electrode of zinc electrode of zinc electrode is minus zero point seven six volt minus zero point seven six volt right and the concentration and the concentration and the concentration molar concentration of Zn2 plus given given equals to 0 0.25 mole calculate comma calculate E electrode potential value for single electrode. Okay, E Zn2 plus bar Zn at 28 degree Celsius. At 28 degree Celsius. Right. So this is the uh, given numerical problem. So here, <coughs> first of all, we need to write the given data first. Okay. We need to write the given data first. So solution for this is given the standard electrode potential of zinc electrode. So here we came to know the electrode is made up of zinc metal <coughs> and there is a uh, standard value, standard electrode potential value is given that is minus 0 0.76 volt. The unit of potential is volt, right? So <coughs> standard electrode potential it is denoted by E naught, right? So E naught Z ten two plus bar Z ten means zinc electrode. The standard electrode potential when zinc electrode is dipped in a is in contact with one molar concentration or unit concentration of Z ten two plus ionic solution, right? So that is a standard electrode potential. So E Z2 plus bar Z n is equal to minus 0 0.76 volt. Minus 0 0.76 volt. Right? Yes. And the concentration, molar concentration is given. That is Z2 plus ionic concentration is 0 0.25 is 0 0.25 and we need to calculate the electrode potential that is E Zn2 plus bar Zn we need to calculate and temperature we have given 28 degree Celsius 28 degree Celsius so and we can write 28 plus 273 
so 3 naught 1 can be so t is equals to 3 naught 1 can be and also listen here so there is a n number of sorry two number of electrons involved so that is n is equals to 2 So this is the given data, right? <coughs> and then which equation is suitable? So here we need to calculate the electrode potential, that is the single electrode potential value. So now we know that we know that we know that single electrode potential value that is E is equal to E naught plus 2.303 into RT by NF into log molar concentration of MN plus that is metal ion plus right <coughs> in the given numerical the electrode is made up of zinc that is, <coughs> here we need to calculate Zn2 plus bar Zn is equal to E naught Zn2 plus bar Zn plus 2.3 naught 3 into R <coughs> into RT by Nf into log molar concentration of Zn2 plus So here on substituting the standard electrode potential value is minus 0 0.76 volt minus 0 0.76 volt plus 2.303 into R, what is R? Gas constant. So the value of gas constant is 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole into 301 Kelvin temperature. So we should write in terms of Kelvin as they have given in terms of degree Celsius. Okay. Divided by N. What is N? n value in the given numerical is 2 so there are 2 number of electrons involved and what is f is the Faraday's constant 96500 coulombs ok and then log of molar concentration of Zn2 plus is 0 0.25 more 0 0.25 more So on calculating this, we get E Z N two plus bar Z N is equal to. And calculating this terms, we get uh, minus zero point seven eight volt minus zero point seven eight volt. So here electrode potential is represented in terms of volts. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how to calculate the single electrode potential. So this are the uh, following form, uh, sorry formulas you need to remember. Okay. So here you have to see the question and uh, read the question once or twice, and you came to know the which equation is suitable and also the problem so which basis they have given we understand ok <coughs> ok thank you everyone so we will see in the next class so we will solve some more problems in the next class ok thank you